The Ordos Loop is a large rectangular bend of the Yellow River in northern China. The land it encloses is also known as the Ordos Plateau or the Ordos. The Great Wall of China cuts across the center, roughly separating the sparsely populated north considered the Ordos proper from the agricultural south, known as the Lois Plateau. The Wei River Valley, which cuts horizontally across the south of the loop, was one of the cradles of Chinese civilization and remains densely populated, including Xi'an, which long served as the capital of China. The Ordos Desert in the north is administered by Inner Mongolia. The area is of high archaeological interest. Skeletal remains and artifacts show the Ordosian culture occupied the area in the Upper Paleolithic. The Late Neolithic saw the development or introduction of the Zukegao culture, which was followed by the iron-wielding Ordos culture. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Yellow River flows from its source in the Sanjiangyan National Nature Reserve on the Tibetan Plateau in a roughly eastern course before turning northwest after its confluence with the Bai He White River in Mok County, Gansu. After reversing course back towards the east, it begins the massive Ordos Loop by turning northwards at Zongning County in Ningxia. It runs northwards about 640 kilometers (398 miles), leaving the lowest plateau whose eroded silt produces the river's yellow color, for the Ordos proper before turning east in Inner Mongolia. It continues this course for about 320 kilometers 199 miles before Shaanxi's Lulang Mountains force it sharply southwards. The eastern side of the loop runs about 600 kilometers 373 miles, re-entering the lowest plateau before reaching its confluence with the Wei River at Tongan in Shaanxi and again turning sharply eastward. It then flows through Henan's Hangu Pass to enter the North China Plain. The Wei River largely forms a southern side of the imperfect rectangle formed by these curves of the Yellow River, flowing about 560 kilometers (348 miles) through the lowest plateau from a source not far from its southwestern corner to a confluence at the southeastern corner. The Qin Mountains, including the famous Mount Hua, separate its watershed from that of the Han River, which flows south to a confluence with the Yangtze at Wuhan. Underlying the lowest plateau is one of the largest coal beds in China. Topic. Climate Rainfall and therefore population decreases rapidly as one moves north. The Wei River Valley on the south is densely populated and is one of the ancient centers of Chinese civilization. The north is grassland and desert, Ordos desert and is part of Inner Mongolia. Because of its low and variable rainfall the region was once notorious for drought and famine. Topic. Along the two rivers At the southwest corner near where the Yellow River emerges from the Tibetan Plateau is Lanzhou, the westernmost large city in north China and the capital of Gansu. To the west of Lanzhou is Xining from whence caravans and now the railway started for Lhasa. North of Xining the Gansu or Hexi Corridor runs along the northern edge of the Tibetan Plateau. This corridor and the Wei River Valley became the main Silk Road route from China proper to the Tarim Basin and westward. Downriver north from Lanzhou is a gorge through Jilin County and Baiyan. The river emerges from the mountains and enters Ningxia near Zhangwei. It runs east with the Tengger Desert in Inner Mongolia to the north and hills to the south. It turns north through dry country to past the Qingtongxia Dam to the irrigated area around Wuzhong City. It continues north past Yinchuan, the capital of Ningxia. To the west are the Helen Mountains. The river leaves the northern tip of Ningxia south of Wai, flows through desert and enters a large irrigated area at Denku. At the northwest corner the Langshan Mountains force the river to turn east near Linhe. Here there is an irrigated area between the mountains and river and desert to the southeast. Near the center of the northern stretch is the large town and irrigated area of Baotou. The main road south runs from Baotou to Xi'an. About 70 miles northeast of the northeast bend is Hoat, the capital of Inner Mongolia. The river turns south, enters the lowest plateau and forms a gorge at least 200 feet below the surrounding hills. There are no large towns in this region. There is a dam apparently called Wanjia and another further south and then the Hukou waterfall of the Yellow River, the second highest in China. The river leaves the gorge near Hancheng, receives the Fen River from the east and the Wei River from the west. 
at its juncture with the way the Yellow River turns east toward the North China Plain. One can go upstream on the way with the Qin Mountains with Mount Hua on the south past Wainan to Xi'an, a former capital of China and now a large city. West of Xi'an is Shenyang, the Qin dynasty capital. The river exits the mountains west of Baoji. There is a dam, the river narrows and becomes yellow and the railroad needs many bridges and tunnels all the way to Tianshui. Upstream various tributaries extend in the direction of Lanzhou. History Although this rectangular area is obvious on a map, the north and south are so different that the region cannot be said to have a common history. The south and east of the Loess Plateau belong historically and culturally to China, for which see prehistory and history of China. The north and west the grassland and desert belongs historically and culturally to Mongolia. The region had been occupied by humans since at least Upper Paleolithic, when the culture may be known as the Ordazian culture. The Ordazian culture, also sometimes called the Ordos culture, is documented from the Upper Paleolithic. The points and sides of their tools indicate a Maustero Leveloisian element. They seem to have a masterful knowledge of Upper Paleolithic technology, producing blades as much as 15 cm long. An ancient tradition says that the Chinese people entered China by traveling down the Wei River. By about 1000 BC, Chinese civilization was centered on the west side of the North China Plain with an extension up the Wei Valley and a northern extension up the Fen River. The Lower Wei Valley is still one of the most densely populated areas in China. Rulers based in the Wei Valley had an advantage since the mountains to the east made a natural fortification and war horses were readily available from the northern grasslands. The Zhou dynasty and the Qin dynasty started in the Wei Valley. Xi'an on the lower Wei was several times the capital of China. By the Tang dynasty the economic center of China had shifted to the Yangtze Valley and the Wei region became partly dependent of food imported up the Grand Canal. The Ordazian culture was followed by the Zhukegao culture of the late Neolithic and early Bronze Age. While the Zhukegao culture population appears to have been predominantly Mongoloid, as known from their skeletal remains and artifacts, the Ordos culture is thought to have been the most eastern extension of Eurasian nomads, and at least partly of Europoid peoples. Under the Qin and Han dynasties the area came under at least loose Chinese control. The Zhukegao culture is one of the Neolithic cultures at Ordos, dated between 2200 and 1500 BC. It is associated with about 327 burials, with recent maternal genetic evidence showing that they were related to the remains from Yinyugo, as well as modern populations like Dors and Evenks. The archaeological finds at the site are similar to those of the lower Shajiadian culture. These finds are important as they are associated with the development of snake pattern designs on the decoration of weapon and animal depicting artifacts which later would become a characteristic style of the Ordos. The skeletal remains at Taohongbala Daohongbala tomb dated to between the 7th and 6th centuries BC are generally identified as belonging to the Xiongnu Bronze culture and show strong mongoloid features. A similar type of burial at Hulasaitai around Bayanur, uncovered in 1979 and dated to between the 5th and 4th centuries BCE, is considered the only Xiongnu site along the northern slope of Yinchen. The site consisted of mainly bronze artifacts and pottery and 27 horse skeletal remains. Further excavation in 1983 at Guaxianyaozi uncovered a total of 31 burials dated to the 6th to 5th century BC revealing strong North Mongoloid features. These generally decrease towards the south, and skeletal remains of East and North Mongoloid type can be seen from finds in Maokingu and Yinyugo dated to around the 7th century BC, amounting to a total of 117 burials. Many bronze weapons of these cultures are similar to those of Chinese style. Depictions of the Ordos people tend to show straight hair. This is especially true of archaeological finds from Baotou M63-22, M63-23, M84-5, Echua M1, M6, Zaihauko M3, Lower Wurthahau M3-1, and Mengjialiang. Horse nomads occupied the area of the Ordos Plateau previously settled by the Zhukegao culture from the 6th to the 2nd century BC, creating the Ordos culture, before being driven away by the Xiongnu. The Ordos Plateau contained the best pasture lands on the Asian steppe. The Ordos are mainly known from their skeletal remains and artifacts. The Ordos culture of about 500 BC to AD 100 is known for its Ordos bronzes, 
blade weapons, finials for tent poles, horse gear, and small plaques and fittings for clothes and horse harness, using animal style decoration with relationships both with the Scythian art of regions much further west, and also Chinese art. Its relationship with the Xiongnu is controversial, for some scholars they are the same, and for others different. Many buried metal artifacts have emerged on the surface of the land as a result of the progressive desertification of the region. According to Yaroslav Lebedinsky, they are thought to be the easternmost people of Scythian affinity to have settled here, just to the east of the better known Yuzi. Because the people represented in archaeological finds tend to display europoid features, as so earlier noted by Otto J. Manchin Helfen, Ledidinsky suggests the Ordos to be of Scythian affinity. The weapons, found in tombs throughout the steppes of the Ordos, are very close to those of the Scythians, known on the Asian steppe as Sakas. The Ordos were in contact and often at war with the pre Han and Han populations of the period. Their former territory is now located just north of the Great Wall of China, and on the south bank of the northernmost hook of the Yellow River. The western neighbors of Ordos may have been identical with the Yuzi, who, after being vanquished by the Xiongnu, migrated to southern Asia to form the Kushan Empire. They were also culturally related to another nomadic tribe to the east, the Eastern Hu Chinese, Dong, Dong Hu, who shared a similar art of the steppes, but appear to have been Mongoloids. Dong Hu is synonymous with Dong Yi, which refers to the inhabitants of Korea, Japan, and what is now northeast China. The ancestors of the people living there today are likely to be these Eastern Hu or related to them in some way. They may also have been related to the Di people Chinese, Di Western barbarians of Chinese annals. In Chinese accounts, the Xiongnu first appear at Ordos in the Yizushu and Shanhaijing during the Warring States period before it was occupied by Qin and Zhao. It is generally thought to be their homeland, however when exactly they came to occupy the region is unclear, and it might have been much earlier than traditionally thought, as suggested by archaeological finds. As the Xiongnu expanded southward into Yuzi territory around 160 BC under their leader Modun, the Yuzi in turn defeated the Sakas Scythians and pushed them away at the Isak Kul. It is thought the Xiongnu also occupied the Ordos area during the same period, when they came in direct contact with the Chinese. From there, the Xiongnu conducted numerous devastating raids into Chinese territory 167, 158, 142, 129 BC. The Han dynasty started to fight the Xiongnu in the 2nd century BC under Emperor Han Wudi, and colonized the area of the Ordos under Xuafang Commandary in 127 BC. Prior to the campaign, there were already commanderies established earlier by Qin and Zhao until they were overrun by the Xiongnu in 209 BC. See also Head out Six frontier towns References Citations Sources Beckwith, Christopher I Empires of the Silk Road, A History of Central Eurasia from the Bronze Age to the Present. Princeton University Press. ISBN 1400829941. Retrieved February 18, 2015. Bunker, Emma C. 2002. Nomadic Art of the Eastern Eurasian Steppes, The Eugene V Thaw and Other New York Collections fully available online. New York, The Metropolitan Museum of Art. ISBN 9780300096880. Huang, Wei Wen, Salawusu Relic. Encyclopedia of China, 1st ed. Kozlowski, J. K. The Problem of the So-Called Ordos Culture in the Light of the Paleolithic Finds from Northern China and Southern Mongolia. 1982, Folia Quaternaria 39-63-99. Lebedinsky, Yaroslav. 2007. Less Nomades. Editions Arons. ISBN 9782877720. Ma, Licking. The Original Zongnu, An Archaeological Exploration of the Zongnu's History and Culture. Hohat, Inner Mongolia University Press. ISBN 7-81074-796-7.
Mainchen Helfen, Otto 1973. The World of the Huns, Studies in Their History and Culture. University of California Press. ISBN 0520015967. Retrieved February 18, 2015. Wu, Taohongbala Tombs. Encyclopedia of China, 1st ed. 